Hey guys, it's Miss Monster Balls of Miss Monster Balls TV, and today I am finally bringing you guys a video on how to pay for college. This video is basically going to talk about how to get into or how to pay for college and stay in college. So, if this is the kind of advice you need, be sure to continue watching, and if you like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, honey, because I personally am someone who struggled with school financially and I'm a graduate now. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first piece of advice is, you know, a piece of advice that we always hear or you should have heard already, but you need to apply to scholarships. Scholarships, I know they can be annoying, but you need to apply to as many as possible. Um, I would definitely put some scholarship websites in the description box below, but some I could say on the top of my head that were really good. So for a lot of HBCU students, UNCF has a lot of scholarships for certain um, schools and HBCUs are usually um, involved in those scholarships. So check out UNCF. They have um, scholarships. Scholarship. There's a lot of scholarship websites that they'll tell you to sign up for. They'll just send you random scholarships. But one key thing that I can say to look for scholarships in that might not have a heavy, um, a heavy like amount of people applying would be to look for scholarships and ask around about scholarships that churches, different foundations, um, also looking into certain things that are unique about you. Like for instance. I'm someone who's parent has a parent that is incarcerated, so there's definitely a scholarship for people who have incarcerated parents. If you are shorter than 4'11", you there's a scholarship for you. Um, and sometimes it's just looking and going into different community um, organizations that also do scholarships. Um, I also know that Greek organizations actually have scholarships as well. So it's not even if you don't want to be Greek, you can still apply to. Um, those scholarships as well. So scholarships, scholarships, scholarships. Another tip is to actually look for different grants. Grants are free money, y'all. Free money that you don't have to worry about, don't have to pay back sort of scholarships, but those two are really, really important. And you wanna look for grants that are offered by your um, state. So you want to look up and look for grants. So once you've done that and you still might not have that much money or whatever the case may be, it's also important that if you can get a job or get a side job or babysit or whatever the case may be, get that money and always put aside a little bit of something. Um, the key to really, really being able to pay for school and to stay in school is to have faith. Have faith in your dream. Have faith in wanting to be there. Have faith in staying there. Those are the three things. And I mean, sometimes you will lose your faith, but you really, really need the faith and determination to graduate from that school and be passionate about it in order for you to really get through and push through the struggle of your financial pockets. Personally, I had that faith because of some effect that I technically couldn't pay for any school. So in my mind, it was, why waste my money on a school that I don't really want to go to and instead of paying for the school I want to go to since I can't pay in general. So I signed up to kind of struggle my way in trying to pay for a school I really wanted to go to rather than struggling and trying to pay for a school I barely wanted to be at. So. I, thought, I feel like you guys should ask that to yourself first when deciding how you want to go about the college thing anyway. Next, I was advised networking. And these are all things you want to do prior to, you could do prior to um, getting into your school or paying for your school as well as during the process. So you want to network and maintain those um, relationships because in networking what you can honestly do is through your network you can ask people hey I'm trying to go to this school do you know any scholarships that are out there do you know any people that are willing to give out any money for that do you know any other alum of that school that know any um, people to get into things so for instance for Spelman I was able to when I raised money on GoFundMe um, in my sophomore year to go back for the next semester, I was able to get in contact with our alumni alumni association in Philadelphia and they were able to just basically share the whole link of my GoFundMe with all different types of alum. And people just were getting my story out there and they were just impressed with 
what I wanted to do with my degree and why Spelman was for me and they were so so supportive and I'm always and will always be blessed for that so thank you if you are watching this because I do know that some people do watch me that either went to Spelman know that I go to Spelman whatever the case may be I have so much support out there and I just wanted to thank you Okay, moving on, after you done worked so hard to gather up the money and everything else, it is also important to call your school. Ask them early, do they have any scholarships or anything for you, whether it's the presidential scholarship, the, the, the academic, anything. You need to call the school and ask what's offered and let them know that you are so, 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 so passionate about coming there, that you are looking and searching for everything. and. The earlier you do it, the better. Um, my experience, they turned me down instantly, and I say honestly, I've had way more of a struggle, but honestly, I also know that if I was able to reach out earlier, and maybe things would have been way more different. I know people who have reached out earlier than I have and was able to attack things better. So, the earlier, the better. Now. Once you arrive to your school, even if you still don't have the money before the time, you might not be have to lose hope just yet. That's when you go in person and you be persistent in person. Persistence is important to paying and staying in school, guys. So you want to go and visit that financial aid office and you want to heckle them and make them know that you are serious about staying at your school and you want to be there and you want to go there. So you get in there and you try to talk to your financial aid advisor, you try to talk to maybe the head of financial aid, and you really, really go in there with the idea of negotiation and really persuading them to understand how bad you want to be there i can i say my persistence and the passion behind my persistence is what's really really i think stuck to people for them to want to help me stay at spellman okay so honestly you need to go in there like this is where i need to be this is where god wants me to be i need you to see that in me and honestly i do 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 feel like if you go in there with all that on your heart it's hard to deny that it's hard to deny that money so persistence and passion for the school you want to attend is important and how you want to pay and stay in college and then last but not least guys once when you get the money you do get whatever every little bit counts always always keep in contact with them people and tell those people thank you thank you is goes a long way you know even if you can't send them something physically it is always always great maybe to shoot an email a text call leave a message something saying thank you and showing your appreciation for what they have been able to do even if someone can't necessarily give you money but they're connecting you to someone else it is still very important to thank them for that so honestly this for a little recap in order to stay and pay for school you want to always apply to scholarships through your whole four years of college you want to apply to grants you want to ask about grants you want to ask about scholarships you want to ask about any types of ways of getting free money from the school or anybody or any organization that's in your community you know any of that you want to also be persistent and passionate for wanting to attend your school and always 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 visit your financial aid office even after you get the money you got y'all you need to go back so they can always know your face and they can always identify you as being a sincere genuine person who really just wants to get this education from this institution and last but not least, you need to be grateful. Thanking them for what they've done and being very passionate about the sense and sincere about the blessing they've helped you receive. So that's my quick and easy tips for how to pay and stay in college. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope, hope, hope that it was very helpful. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment in the description box below. If you have any other questions, email me. That is totally fine. I won't mind emailing you guys back. And um, be sure to subscribe. And I'ma see y'all next time. And now they